U.S. President Joe Biden met Chinese leader Xi Jinping for the first time in a year on November 15 for talks that may ease friction between the two superpowers over military conflicts, drug trafficking, and artificial intelligence. Biden welcomed the Chinese leader at the Filoli Estate, a country house and gardens about 30 miles south of San Francisco, where they will move later for a summit of the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Forum. Die in opening remarks, Biden said the U.S. and China had to ensure that competition between them does not veer into conflict and manage their relationship responsibly. She called the U.S.-China relationship the most important bilateral relationship in the world and said he and Biden shoulder heavy responsibilities for the two peoples, for the world, and for history. The leaders will be seeking to reduce friction between the countries, but deep progress on the vast differences separating them may have to wait for another day. die from fentanyl than from guns, car accidents, or any other cause period. So today, with this new understanding, we're taking action to significantly reduce the flow of precursor chemicals and pill presses from China to the Western Hemisphere. It's going to save lives, and I appreciate President Xi's commitment on this issue. Well, holy God, I wouldn't have called on you if I'd known that. No, I'm teasing. Go ahead, fire right there. We're reassuming military to military contacts, direct contacts. As a lot of you press know who follow this, that's been cut off and it's been worry worrisome. That's how accidents happen, misunderstandings. So we're back to direct, open, clear, direct communications on a, on a, ba on a direct basis. Vital miscalculations on either side can, uh, can cause real, real trouble with, a, with a, a, a country like China or any other major country. And so I think we're made real, real progress there as well. And thirdly, we're going to get our experts together to discuss risk and safety issues associated with artificial intelligence. As many of you have traveled with me around the world, almost everywhere I go, every major leader wants to talk about the impact of artificial intelligence. These are tangible steps in the right direction to determine what's useful and what's not useful, what's dangerous and what's acceptable. Moreover, there are evidence of cases that, uh, that I've made all along. The United States will continue to compete vigorously with the PRC, but will manage that competition responsibly so it doesn't veer into conflict or accidental conflict. And where it's possible, where our interests are coincide, we're going to work together like we did on fentanyl. That's what the world expects of us. The rest of the world expects, not just in people in China and the United States, but the rest of the world expects that of us. And that's what the United States is going to be doing. We're talking to our competitors and the key uh, and, and just just talking, just being blunt with one another. So there's no misunderstanding as a key element to maintaining global stability and delivering for the American people. Well, look, he is. I mean, he's a dictator in the sense that he, he is a guy who runs a country that is a uh, country that is based on a form of government totally different than ours. Anyway, the most... Are you, are you, are you, are you, are you,